Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new, if you've just clicked on this video. Oh my god, sorry, I just scared myself. I thought my camera strap was a spider on my hand. <laughs> it's because yesterday there were two spiders in the house. Sorry, I'm going off on a tangent and it's not even like 30 seconds into the video. Some of you might remember if you follow me on Instagram, there was a spider. I left my washed, bedding on, uh, my washed bedding on the floor and... We just, I left it there overnight because I wanted to fold it the next day with Jake. And then I picked it up. Oh my God, it like, it freaks me out just thinking about it. A, a huge, absolutely like a tarantula crawled out of the bedding and I screamed, ran into the bathroom. Thank goodness Jake was home because I literally would have had to ring my neighbor or my brother or someone because my dad's away. I normally ring my dad and he only lives like, just like 30 seconds away. But I would have had to ring somebody because it was huge and then a few hours later one was on the stairs it looked like the same one jake said it was a different one but i'm pretty sure it like it it came back into the house somehow but yeah no spiders it's just my camera strap and i'm gonna stop going off on a tangent right now <laughs> but yeah if you're new here my name is chess i post videos every week sometimes twice a week if it's like summer holidays or something because i'm a teacher so i am a primary school teacher in the week and guest youtuber by weekend but i post all sorts of videos like home styling home decor shopping hauls a little bit of fashion and lifestyle and bunny content in there as well so if you like that style of video then i would love if you could subscribe and stay with me for more videos so today I'm very excited for today's video. I am going to HomeSense and I have not been to HomeSense in ages. I feel like I'm missing out. I'm getting like HomeSense withdrawal symptoms because I just love HomeSense. You can always find such gems in HomeSense and I'm going today and I might even nip to Home Bargains and B&M and like all the shops around that neck of the woods as well. So it's going to be a really good bargain shopping day. I'm so excited, honestly, like I'm so excited to go home shopping and because I've not been in so long, it feels like a really good treat. So I literally saw something else then. I'm, I'm like conscious whenever I see a spy, whenever there's been a spider in the house, like a big one, I'm like conscious, like looking around, but it was, it was a tree branch in the window. I'll stop talking about spiders now, I promise. So yeah, that's what I'm doing today. I thought I'd take you guys along with me, show you what's new in the shops for April, May 2023. And then I will show you all the bits that I got. If I did get, if I do get anything, I'll show you those when I get back and then show you some of the little bits and pieces that have been delivered this week as well. Also, I was gonna wear a nice pretty dress, a nice pretty floral dress for today's vlog, but the weather is horrendous, like chucking it down. The rain is so heavy and it's so cold, so I'm just, I'm in a, I'm in a hoodie and leggings. Sorry guys.
I've been into HomeSense and HomeSense was really good. There was loads of really good things in there today, actually. Lots of little, like, little hidden gems. You do have to look in HomeSense, don't you? Like, things don't just stand out. But I did spy a lot of cute things. But I did put a few things back because I didn't want to spend all my money in HomeSense when it's just been payday. And then I went into Home Bargains and there was a few bits that I saw that I've seen online that people have bought and that I do like, like the little artichoke things, the artichoke ornaments and the artichoke candle holders. But I just don't need them. And I, I don't just want to buy them for a video. Do you know what I mean? Like, I just don't need them. So I, I filmed them on the little snippets, as you will have seen, so you, you can see what's in store. But personally, I just don't need them. I've got so many little candle holders and ornaments and stuff. So now I'm going to be on a new mission to only buy things if I really, really love them and if I really, really want them in my home. Because otherwise, I'll just be... I just have tons of home decor stuff that I don't need. So it's nice for me to show you what's in store, but I didn't buy them because... I didn't need them. Can you literally see the weather? It's so atrocious. The rain is pouring. I haven't got a coat either because I just hate wearing coats. Just feel like they ruin an outfit, don't they? So what I think I'm going to do now is go to Starbucks because I am feeling a breakfast wrap. I'm not going to lie. I hope they still have some in stock. And then I'm going to head over to B&M, like the really good B&M that's near here. That's got like loads of stock and it's really clean and tidy. It's really a really good B&M. And then I think I'll go home and show you the little bits that I picked up. So for the first time in Starbucks, I went for the iced white chocolate mocha uh, with whipped cream on top, and it's really nice actually. It does have, it does have like a coffee y taste, which I don't mind as long as I can, as long as it's like a little bit sweet as well. It does have syrup in, and like I'm guessing white chocolate in it somewhere, and then whipped cream on top. But, mm. but yeah, I do like it. I feel like I would like it a little bit sweeter, but I am like the biggest sweet tooth ever. Like I've in home bargains i didn't buy anything except toothpaste and loads of treats basically i'll show you which treats i got at home but you can probably guess which chocolate treats that i got but yeah it could just do with being like a little bit sweeter like more syrup <laughs> i'm like elf i'm like buddy the elf honestly i really am and then they didn't have any breakfast wraps sadly but they, they had the plant-based one but it had like barbecue and like obviously non-meat sausage and i didn't know if i was going to like it or not so i just got a pizza because i know i like those
Oh my goodness, I've just got back in the car after B&M. B&M have some, not some, tons of amazing things in B&M. I literally couldn't believe it. I have got some really good things to show you when I'm back home. They've got all their garden stuff, some of stuff. It's so good. I know not every B&M is the same. And if I went to my local B&M, I would probably be very disappointed because my local B&M always just never has anything in. If anyone's local to Preston and wants to go to a really good B&M, I've heard the docks one is good, but this one, I think it's on Pole Street or near Pole Street and it's near the bus station. You'll probably be able to find it on the map but it's literally pristine in there like everything is so organized there's so many aisles there's so much stock like the shelves are so full i need to find the store manager and give them a clap or well done because the store is my favorite store to shop at so if anyone is local go to this one near the bus station it's just so good oh my goodness i cannot wait to get home and show you what i picked up so excited hey guys so i'm back home now as you can see and i'm in a new location normally i sit on that couch and i thought I literally always just sit on that couch and show things so I thought that I would change things up and sit on the other couch. <laughs> yeah, let me know what you think of the new setup. I mean, it's literally just the other side of my living room, but like I said in my last video, we are gonna be panelling the wall soon, this wall and this wall, so I'm really excited for that. I just feel like it'll just add a little bit of texture, dimension to the room. I'm not going like full on like a colour, obviously, because I have such a neutral home, but I just feel like it will add a little bit something extra. So like I said in the car, this home haul has been the best, oh is going to be the best because I'm not showing you yet, but it is going to, going to be the best home haul that I've done in a while because there are so many good bits in the bags, can't wait to show you guys. But first I wanted to show you some gorgeous new prints that have kindly been sent over from Trove Prints and I did just want to say that it's literally a stunning shop. They are nailing the Instagram aesthetic, it's perfect, it's all vintage, botanical, still life, landscapes, literally everything that you could think of, they stock, but it's all kind of under the same umbrella, like vintage kind of old painting prints, which I really like at the minute. And their website is so good because it stocks all the prints like really nicely and it's like easy to navigate around but when you click on the print that you like you can like swipe and it shows you what it looks like in different frames which I think is really good because sometimes it's hard to envision what a print will look like in a frame but it's got loads of different frames that you might want in your house and it, you know you can see what it will look like in different frames which I just think is a really cool feature on their website. So I'll link all these down below in case you fancy getting any but I can't wait to get them in the frames. I always pop them in those like Maison antique frames from the range but so this is the first one it's like a little floral design in a vase and like some flowers coming out which I think is gorgeous there it is lovely gorgeous muted colors and that's what I like about it is that they're all like muted colors because they're all kind of like vintage vibes you can pop it like with any of her accessories and it doesn't stand out it just like all mixes together in a nice neutral home but also just as a pop of color as well i've been literally loving the i've got another one in this size that's like roses and it's probably in every single one of my instagram posts because it just looks so good everywhere so i can't wait to style some more of these up so i've got that beautiful one and then i've got this one which is like a nice meadow like floral meadow with little white flowers which i thought was gorgeous and then the last one i got is stunning as well it's like a grey vase with tons of beautiful flowers just like falling out. I absolutely love that one. I can't decide which one my favourite is. I do really like this one but I think this one is lovely and like the touch of blush in there as well. They're all stunning so at the end of the video I'm going to pop them in some frames or pop some of them in some frames and style them up. So like I said amazing bits in the shops today but I'm just going to start with what I got from Home Bargains which was literally just toothpaste and treats. So I did get toothpaste, I always use this one. Normally we try and get it in our weekly shop, but if they don't have this one in stock, I won't buy any other toothpaste. Like sometimes like we try a Colgate one or like a different Oral-B one and they never compare to this one because this one doesn't really sting your mouth, but it's really good for whitening. So if you are wanting a really good toothpaste, I would recommend this one. It's the pink, I always remember it's the pink one and it's glamorous white. And then in terms of treats, I got some more Reese's. These are so good, the little mini unwrapped peanut butter cups. They are just so good. And then I got some bigger ones in the white chocolate. These are so good as well. And then, so when we went to the cinema last week, we saw these munchies, munchy gold, and it's made with caramac and they were so good. We literally paid like eight pounds for one bag. Probably not that much, but cinema prices are just ridiculous, aren't they? Like I think in total, including our tickets, it was like over 50 pounds 
to go to the cinema like what even is that but the mario movie was really good but anyway we did get some of these and they are so delicious like really yummy really sweet obviously caramac if you don't like caramac you probably won't like them but yeah really good and we've been trying to find them since and we haven't been able to find them so i got some in home bargains and then these were new as well milky bar gold again made with caramac i think caramel flavor white chocolate or maybe they're not made with caramac Hmm, i don't know but anyway, I got some of those as well. So now I'll show you what I got from HomeSense. And in this bag, it's just one little thing. A little milk jug, which I thought was just super cute. And it was only £5, which I thought was, wasn't too bad. It does have a heart on one side, which I think is a little bit like cutesy. So what I thought I would do is just turn it around like that. And I just like the creamy kind of tones to it. It's two-tone as well, so it's ceramic at the top and then like textured at the bottom. And I just thought it was cute. Nice for my kitchen, nice for a bathroom with some flowers coming out. I just thought it was nice and neutral and quite cheap as well. Then we have this from HomeSense. Oh my goodness. I love it so much. It's a scalloped lampshade. And we all know that I love scalloped things so much. I cannot get over it. It's absolutely stunning. And it's literally the perfect colour. Let me twist you around. Sorry about the mess, but do you see that lampshade over there? Just I've been looking at it recently and I just think it's a bit boring and I've wanted to change it, but you know when it's just been at the back of your mind. So it's just like a plain like whitey cream colour lampshade. And oh, there we go. We're going to be back. Sorry if the positions change, guys. But when I saw this, I thought it's going to be absolutely stunning on that lamp stick. Stick? I don't even know what it's called. Like the wooden bit. It was only 19.99 as well. And I think it looks so high end. Like it really reminds me of like, like H&M, Zara, even like McGee and Co kind of vibes. I just think it looks way more expensive than 19.99. Let me unwrap it actually. Is it gonna be that annoying thing? Like when they just wrap it around like that. I hate when they do that. <laughs> yeah, it is as well. I honestly can't stop looking at it. I think it's absolutely stunning. I love it. I just hope it fits like, I didn't, I don't, are you meant to like measure lamp shades and like see if they fit on your lamp base? I don't know. I just got it. I'll make it fit. I'll, I'll find a way to make it fit. <laughs> Here it is unwrapped. I honestly think it's stunning. Like, I know you guys might be thinking it's just a lamp shade, but that is such a pretty lamp shade. I think it's so different as well. Like you normally just see like plain, you know, like the same lamp shades that you see again and again. And they can be really nice, obviously, like plain ones are really nice but I just think it's a bit different it's scalloped I just love it I think it's so nice and I can't wait to get it on the lamp base so I'll do that in this video as well and show you guys how it looks oh no guys I dropped this when I was getting out the car like the bag fell out of my hand and I thought oh it's not broken but it is it's broken dearie me it's broken there I guess I could have it that way and no one would see that is so annoying. I bet my dad could glue it actually because I have got the piece here. It's just like a tiny piece. This was the other thing that I got from HomeSense, by the way. I think. Yeah, this was the other thing that I got. Oh, it's, that is so annoying. It's just like a tiny piece like that. My dad could definitely glue it because once one of my Christmas ornaments smashed and it was like a special one, it's like a personalised one that said Chess and Jake on and he glued that back together so he'll definitely be able to do that. Luckily, it's not like in pieces because that would just really make me sad but yeah i feel happy again now because i know that my dad will be able to fix that but this was the other thing that i got from home sense and they had loads of really cute like glass pieces like glass vases quite similar to the white company ones actually you know when they're like bigger and then go in at the top like for really cheap like a really good white company dupe actually but these hurricane vases are really lovely and they kind of reminded me of like neptune ochre vibes but for a fraction of the price obviously this is 6.99 and i just think it looks a little bit more I don't know, stylish than just like a normal hurricane. I use the Ikea hurricanes and they are really pretty and like, like scallop up at the top. But I quite like how this one has this little like dip here and like a little stand. I can't believe I've, oh my gosh. Have I smashed something else? This glass literally just fallen on me. So yeah, I just thought it was quite cute, really affordable, and I feel like you could style it in so many ways, like around Easter time, pop eggs in with a candle, you could pop like a candle and moss around, so you could style it literally in so many ways, and the Neptune candles will look really nice in there as well. So now I'll move on to the star of the show, all of the B&M pieces, sorry, just not the camera. Guys, like I said in the car, this B&M that I go to is literally so good, like, compared to my local B&M, it's like a 10 out of 10. My local B&M is 
like a 1.5 out of 10. But I'm really excited to show you everything that I got. But the first thing that I picked up were some little heart candles. I was just after some of these, I was doing a tablescape the other week and I thought I wish I had some like heart shaped candles just to like scatter around the table because I think I thought it would look really cute and I didn't have any so now I've got these and I'll probably just like light them for tablescapes and then pop them back in the cupboard and then get them out when I'm doing another tablescape and they were only three pound for three so one pound a candle I just thought they were nice and cute and neutral in this little glass holder as well and will be perfect for when I'm doing little tablescapes. Then I found this little bathroom tray and I have been after this for so long ever since Home With Cat shared it in one of her videos because it looks like identical to the White Company white ceramic tray and I have been after it ever since then and could I find it? No, I could not, especially in my 1.5 out of 10 B&M, but I managed to find it after literally, it might, must have been, it might have been a year, I've been trying to find it for a year, and I found it today, and I had to get it, it was so cheap, £4, looks identical to the White Company one, and I'm going to pop this in my upstairs bathroom, and pop some like bottles in, in fact I do actually have the White Company Seychelles hand wash and hand cream, so it will literally look like it's all from the White Company, but this one was £4, which is such a steal. Then I got this little wooden bathroom tray. This is a wooden soap dish, but I'm going to use it as like a candle holder. Again, very much White Company vibes. White Company do this kind of like dark wood, like in candles and things like that. So yeah, it's definitely that sort of vibe. And it was only £2.50, which is so affordable. And they had a bigger one as well. I think I showed it on the clip, which would be lovely to like style a few different things on. But... I didn't know if, where I would put it, but I know that I'll definitely get loads of use out of this wooden soap dish, but I'm going to use it as a candle holder instead. Then I got this little plant, which was £4, and it, they did like loads of different colours. They had like little yellow ones, which I was tempted to get, but of course I had to go with white. They had lilac ones as well. And when, when I saw it like this, I thought, mm, not sure, but then I imagined it in like a Neptune part or like a terracotta part and I thought that it would look really nice rather than just this black part so what I'm going to do is go and get a part now and pop it in pop it in the pot and see how it looks because I feel like it's got potential to look really nice like a really nice like faux plant styling piece so one second let me go and get a pot and then show you what it's like so here for example this is the Neptune part this is the what's it called the time small pot in stone and doesn't it just look super cute like it doesn't look like I feel like in the black pot it's kind of like borderline cheap tacky a little bit a little bit not too much otherwise I wouldn't have bought it obviously but I knew that it would look really cute in a different part and it does like this would be a gorgeous kitchen piece or like living room piece just to add a bit of like spring summer and I feel like the leaves aren't too bright either it does look a little plasticky but from a distance I think it looks really cute and then I have brought some other parts just to show you it looks really cute in this little like rustic whitewashed stone part as well a little bit taller and then I brought a terracotta one as well and it looks cute in that one as well I actually like it in this one I don't know if I like it in this one most but yeah I just thought it was quite cute and I could see the potential in the plastic faux plant okay guys I have saved the best till last oh my goodness so do you remember when I went a bit crazy for the scalloped range, like they still had, have that range in stock, like people are looking for that range in all their B&Ms, but this B&M that I go to, still fully stocked, so good. So I literally love that scalloped range, and obviously that ceramic, like kitchen, like actual plates and bowls and stuff, but in their summer section, they have this new range called the Ocean, Ocean Air range, and it was all like blues and dark blues, and then I saw these plastic garden plates in scalloped pattern scallop plate it says on the back oh my goodness look at them i got four of them they're two pound fifty each they're plastic so like you could use them for kids you know like i would definitely use these if when i've got children oh my goodness these are going to be the perfect like child plate i am obsessed garden tablescapes are coming and i will be using these i just think they are absolutely stunning i got four of them they're two pound fifty each which is so cheap and you guys know me i love anything with this sort of like pattern shape around the edge perfect love them cute stylish cheap can't go wrong so that was everything that i got i really hope you guys enjoyed the haul wasn't it a good haul such a good haul today i'm really impressed with everything that i managed to get so now i'm gonna style some of the pieces up and show you guys on camera as well okay so i'm gonna attempt to swap over the lampshade, I mean, how hard can it be? Right, so I've unscrewed the bulb. <laughs> right, it's off. 
so I'll best cut that tag off because it'll probably start a fire or something. Is it meant to do that? Like, is that, why is it doing that? <laughs> You probably can't even see it because I'm because of my big head. Oh my goodness, I love it. It looks so much nicer. You have to let me know what you guys think. I think it looks so much better, so much more stylish. I've also decided to pop this little plant here. So you might remember, I think it was last video, I was showing this exact same spot, but since then I've had a faff as I always do, and I've moved the pink candle into the bathroom. So I needed to like restyle this place, this windowsill up. So I'm gonna pop this. William Morris book in there as I feel like the orangey tones match the terracotta part but I love how that looks we've got this little Neptune bird here I feel like it looks like that does not look like a B&M plant does it in that rustic like terracotta part next to all the Neptune pieces I just think it looks really gorgeous and I feel like I always struggle to get cute little white plants like this like I've got a faux cyclamen in the kitchen that I got from a small business and I use it all the time like I swap it about all the time and I feel like I struggle to get similar things but this is really cute from B&M and it was only four pounds and I feel like styled with the right parts it could look really nice and it does I love it I'm just gonna pop these candles in my little TV stand just so I know to come back to them at a later date in here I've got let me try and get the brightness up I've got like all different like candles and candle holders and stuff just so I've got somewhere to keep them like when I'm doing little bits of tablescapes and styling and stuff so that is where I keep some of my home decor and then some other bits just go all over the spare room let's say <laughs> do you know what I will never understand is why they put labels on like this because no one can get them off it's so annoying I've seen that oh no I've seen that hack where you can like blast a hair dryer over them and they just come off really easily which I might have to do because I'm sorry this this is probably the most unesthetic oh are you joking me oh my gosh I'm sorry if this is like paining some people. That'll do. Deary me. So I have a gap up here now because I moved the William Morris jug into the bathroom. That's what I do, I just move things about. But look at that, would you look at that? What a perfect match. This is why you should always just go for neutrals because you know that it's just gonna match with everything. I love it. Okay, so here's my upstairs bathroom. I hardly ever show it just because I feel like it just looks a bit too modern. Sorry, the light is going a bit weird. There we go. Yeah, I never really show it too much, but I do still like to have it looking nice. So here is where I popped the little white ceramic tray. It's such white company vibes. It was such a good find from Home with Cat. So yeah, thank you to Cat for finding this and thank you to the B&M in Preston for stocking it because I've literally been looking for it for so long and now I finally got it and I just think it looks stunning here with my white company pieces and my little like wooden brush and then over this side here are my little jars where I keep my little cotton, what are they called? cotton buds and cotton pads and then I think the little soap dish looks perfect here with the candle on this is from Aldi but it does look like Seychelles White Company and obviously I've got oh no it's not Seychelles it's Vervine I thought it was Seychelles but Vervine is another gorgeous scent but I feel like the whole vibe looks very White Company I love it with my Neptune vase and a little little peachy display this time. I'm normally a whites and green sort of girl, but I put this little peach display together and I thought it looked cute. And I feel like it matches with all the warm tones that I've got in here as well. So yeah, this is my bathroom. Love the new pieces in here. I'm just gonna pop my new prints from Trove Prints into my frames from the range. These are so affordable and I use them all the time and they just match so nicely with all my neutrals and stuff. So I'm gonna do that now and then show you them in the frames and then do some styling.
So here they are in the frames. Don't they just look stunning? I literally can't decide which one's my favourite. But I do want to pop one in the kitchen. So let me go and show you where. You might remember this little corner. So this is where the toaster used to be. And I moved the toaster into a cupboard and I just love this corner so much now because I can actually style it up but as you can see there is an ugly switch I mean look at that ugly red switch have you ever seen something as ugly in your life so I did have another print in one of the, those same frames from the range from Trove Prints it was like a rosy like blush roses kind of print but I've moved that into the downstairs bathroom let me show you because I've been doing a little bit of styling in the downstairs bathroom this weekend just a little spruce so I've got the new rhubarb candle in here now and then I've got some like blush kind of rhubarb -y color pieces there and I just thought that the blush and like the pink tones on this print from Trove Prints matched everything else in here so I've moved that one in here sorry about the lighting I hate when it does those does this weird line thing so if you can see that so because I've moved that into the bathroom I need something for here so we need to decide which one from Trove Prints looks the best so let's try this one first this is I think it's called Grey Vase on the website turn the brightness up a bit Oh, I do like how that looks. I'm going to love them all because they're all just stunning. So let's try a different one now. We'll try this floral one again. I'll link all the exact ones down below, by the way, guys. Love how that looks. I think that looks really pretty. I think it looks better there than the grey vase one. I feel like the grey vase one needs to go with more neutral tones, whereas here I've got like the terracotta candle and like the warm coloured basket. I feel like it needs to be a warm print. So let's try the meadow. See if I like that one better. I think it's going to be between these two. This could be it actually, guys, because I feel like the green matches the tea towel really nicely. <gasps> what do we think? Oh, I can't decide. I can't decide. Let's try that one again. Pop it in front. Roses or meadow? They're both so pretty. I can't decide. I think meadow. Just because the greens match really nicely and the terra it's got kind of like bits of terracotta colour in as well which matches the candle. Yeah, I think I'm going to stick with Meadow. Oh, I love it. I think it looks super pretty and vintage-like. So I'm going to end the video here, everyone. I really hope you enjoyed coming shopping with me today and seeing all of the amazing bits that I picked up in the stores. Let me know what your favourite pieces were in the comments down below. As you guys know, I love chatting with you all in the comments and it just really helps my channel out. So if you did like this video, please give it a like and a comment and do subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, that's it from me. So thank you so much for watching, everyone, and I will see you next week with a new video. Bye.